Hello and welcome to my webinar kit where what I'm going to be doing is walking you through the process of putting together a webinar and talking about a lot of the things that I like when it comes to this software, which is a lot of the things. First and foremost, the best part about webinar kit is that they actually offer lifetime access. Normally you have to pay monthly when it comes to webinar software, but keep in mind that they are increasing the price. And in fact, at the time of recording this, they are currently counting down the days until it rises again in price. So I will put a link down below. Make sure you check that out depending on when you're watching this it could be increasing and i remember talking to the owner and specifically saying that eventually it's not going to be a one-time price deal so something to keep in mind when it comes to webinar kit now it's actually very easy to set up your webinar there's going to be other perks and features that come along with otos which i'll talk about but in the beginning you can either choose from using a uploaded video or you can toggle this off and just use a url okay so I already have one selected just for the demo. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to go to next details. Okay. Let's talk about what they have here. So they can toggle webinar active or inactive. Obviously, if you want to use it, it's going to be active toggle attendee sign in required. Usually you don't want to do that one. Okay. So the ultimate webinar, I just put how to increase your leads, your traffic leads and sales, uh, hour and a half. Uh, brand image, obviously you can get rid of that. I'm just using webinar kit for this demo. I have a picture of me, which it got cut off a little. <laughs> Normally, if it wasn't a demo, I would just make it a little bit better. And webinar schedule is very important because these are gonna be for evergreen webinars, meaning they run around the clock. You can actually get leads and sales while it does the heavy lifting. So for this, I wanted to do the uh, instant watch, but they do have the just-in-time scheduling. It says for your webinar, if the setting is enabled, your webinar will always have a time slot available within 15 minutes. Then you can really go crazy with the days, the time, you know, the, the time zone and so on and so forth. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, English, United States. But for the sake of this example, I like instant watch. This means you're going to get probably some of the highest conversions in terms of people signing up and seeing your webinar because once they sign up, it immediately goes to the uh, presentation. So they don't have to wait 15 minutes or maybe longer sometime. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like for the registration page. It's pretty simple to use. I wouldn't say it's like a drag and drop editor. For me, I personally love these simple landing page. They have always converted the best, but let's take a look at some of the other templates real quickly. Pretty generic, and I believe some of them do come with one of the OTOs, you get a few more. So I've always loved the generic ones, which is why you see that here. But in order to edit something, like say you would go to page content, the upper content, which would be the headline, and you just simply you know, type in whatever you wanna do. It's already there, so you can see how that goes. There are a lot of options that you can edit. So lower content is gonna be the stuff on the bottom, which I don't have, I removed. Footer is gonna be that disclaimer. And you got show countdown timer, show presenters, page labels. This is gonna be email and first name. And I like the opt-in fields. I got rid of the first name simply because the less someone has to put there, the higher the conversions you're gonna want. However, for webinars, I do see you can, you know, obviously use someone's first name, especially if they're gonna be typing in questions, which is something that's going to be possible. But let me exit this for you. There's gonna be the thank you page editor. I'll just show you, I did a very quick one as well it shows when it's going to be start. This is just a random you know, generator when it comes to previewing it, but it will have your link. You can add stuff here, remove stuff. But once again, this is just a simple and clean uh, version of that. Then of course we have the replay page editor with my demo video, which I'm going to pause. Hello and welcome to this. It's gonna talk over me, but that's just giving you an idea of what it looks like in terms of the replay page. This is also what would be, you know, the same video would be used as your actual webinar room. So someone can actually go in there and just click pause, or excuse me, they can click on mute, but not pause. They can mute it, but not pause it, which is good, meaning there's more urgency for them to watch it because they don't wanna miss anything, obviously. Let's go back here. That's that section, let's get next. So webinar live settings, okay? This is gonna be for email questions, webinar live chat is disabled, and redirect attendees after webinar is disabled. You can do that if you want. That's usually a good idea simply for the fact that sometimes it ends and people will just wait there, but maybe you can bring them to the checkout or the special offer you have. It's a cool little perk. Webinar offer settings. Obviously, you're most likely going to want to be selling something. The cool thing is you can do it as an affiliate too if you want. So if you have an affiliate product in a, in a video webinar you want to upload, you can do that as well. Offer description price, call to action URL, and there's quite a few you can do. There's also a timer. 
webinar poll is going to be part one of the OTOs along with the handouts, which I will talk about shortly. But that's if you want to hand something out like notes, which is very popular because a lot of times people will go to webinars looking for, say, a free gift. You know, if you stay to the end, you get a PDF. Webinar chat simulator is also going to be a part of an OTO, which I'll talk about. Webinar label customization settings. This is pretty much a lot of stuff that you can edit here, but I'm just quickly going through. Uh, I'm going to go to next just to save some time. Email notifications, they really have down. I love the fact that they've added so many email integrations, okay? Not only do they have the automatic confirmation emails, but they have the one for one day before, uh, 30 minutes before, and then you can add a lot more. For example, uh, if they did not attend it, send an email. If they watch 25%, if they watch 50%, or if they watch 75 or all of it, you can send an email. So there's a lot of like specific actions where if a person did do something or didn't do something, you can take an action and send an email. Now, in terms of integrations, you're going to be happy to see that there's a lot of them that they've added over time. At the time of creating this, though, they have Active Campaign, AWeber, Constant Contact, ConvertKit, Drip, Get Response, MailChimp, MailerLite, SendFox, Send them Blue, SendLane, and Zapier. Zapier is great because that usually, if they're missing an email marketing tool, it can probably work with it to make it work. Okay, webinar scripts is going to be great for your tracking pixels. So if someone signs up and you want to, you know, calculate your opt-ins or just your percentage of how many sales you get or your ROI, that's going to be something like that. And after we hit complete, that's pretty much going to be it. You saw a lot of the settings. Of course, I flew through, but I'm just kind of giving you the idea when it comes to how you're going to be setting this up. So let's talk about the kind of prices. So first and foremost, the webinar kit main, it is a lifetime. It's not going to be forever. And as of right now, the price is going to be increasing. I don't want to put the price because it always changes and then it kind of confuses people. So you can check that out in the link down below. The first OTO is going to be the webinar kit pro comes with built in video hosting, one click replay pages, embeddable registration pages, polls and handouts to boost engagement, which you saw an additional high converting registration pages. I have this built into mine. So if you don't get the pro there's that's probably Probably the reason why like you wouldn't see that unless you got that webinar chat simulator is cool this is kind of like uh, what a lot of webinar tools use to make it look like it's live because when people type things in you can add them in there at specific points in the presentation Webinar agency is going to be good if you're more of an agency and you want to go that route. I don't have a lot of details about that because I don't have that and really didn't have much need for it. And then last but not least is going to be Webinar Kit Live. So they do have the ability to create live webinars, but that's what that specific OTO is going to be about. And they do have multiple pricing plans for that. That's not going to be a lifetime. I believe that's monthly, but just letting you know about that. But all in all, the Webinar Kit is for automated slash evergreen webinars. It's very easy to set up. It's pretty simple. Just just make sure you give it some time after you upload your video. I believe it takes about 30 minutes. Uh, there's a little note about that, but everything else is pretty much smooth selling, especially if you're looking for a webinar software with a lifetime price. You get some really good value here. So overall, I do recommend it. If you've been thinking about getting webinar kit, highly recommend that you check it out. And that's about it. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. The link to get started is also down below. Keep in mind the price could be rising very soon, so be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.